action. Whoa, 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 that's a signal! Get him out now! Whoa, whoa. What the heck? Uh, you pop the handcuffs open, just like that. Ah! How did he do that? Pop the lock. You're then gonna come under their wrist and you're gonna slide this over their hand. Oh, wow! I'd love to see that. <gasps> Whoa! What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, 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 magic. I am your host, Devin Era. Today I'm showing you 10 magic escape stunts and how to do them. Because I'm gonna slip out of it right now. Who did it? Whoa! Funky. Here's a way to escape some wrist shackles quick and easy. Okay, this is a really cool escape stunt. So I have a set of metal shackles here. As you can see, there's chains on the bottom here and chains on the top. Yes. There's also a little lock on each one of the sets of chains. Yes. And there's like a metal shackle here in the middle. So uh, in just a second here, I'm gonna have you uh, chain up my wrists. All right, got it locked in there. Make sure you pull them as tight as you can. Okay, now that you have me locked up securely, those seem yeah. tight, right? Yeah. Check them. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now that we have it locked up, I will now attempt to free myself to escape okay. from the wrist shackles. All I need is 10 seconds. You're going to give me a countdown from 10. Turn that way and close your eyes whenever you are ready. Okay. From 10? Yep. From 10. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Can I turn around? <gasps> Where did he go? Oh, what? How did he do that? <laughs> Evan. Well, that's kind of blows my mind. Where did he go? <laughs> Okay, here's the secret. Okay, here are the secret to the magic escape shackles. So when they're buckled up like this with the chains locked in place with the padlocks, it looks totally legit like your hands are really locked in there tight, but all you have to do, because these little rings right here will slide, here's what you have to do in order to escape the shack. Because these little rings right here will actually slide, you're just gonna slide them out like this to the very edges, and that will provide enough space to just easily slip your hands out. Same thing on this side. They're together like this, it appears very tight, but when you let them slide out to the edges of the loop, your hand can then easily slide out of the chain. Just one of the ways an escape artist might magically get out of restraints. And that is the secret of the magic escape shackles. This next one is a classic escape stunt that's been around for ages. Okay, so for this escape stunt, Eric's actually going to escape this straight jacket underwater. You ready? Ready. Let's do it. All right. So if he's going to help us uh, buckle him into the straight jacket, standard issue straight jacket, let's put it on. All the way down to this last buckle here. Okay. Yeah, we want it to be super tight and hard to get out of. The last one goes right there. This one goes around like this. It's gonna be really tight because this is the one that like connects his arms. There we go. This is going to be very difficult to get out of because it's very difficult to get you into. Feel good and tight, V? Yeah. How's it feel? <laughs> tight. Tight? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you ready to uh, escape this thing underwater? I'm ready. Are you? I cannot even believe you're doing this. <laughs> actually, uh, I'm actually, I'm also gonna do it uh, blind. What? Yep. You ready? Yep. See, will you tie this in the back? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Thumbs up for Eric's braver. Can you see anything? No, I can't. Uh... <laughs> All right, perfect. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Alright, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple. I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, here is the explanation of escaping a straitjacket underwater. This seems like a death-defying stunt, but it's actually very safe when you take the proper precautions. 
First off, this is not a normal straight jacket. This is a special magic straight jacket that escape artists and magicians use that comes equipped with a couple special features. So from a backside view here, first off, the straps of the straight jacket, the ones that attach your arms when they're crossed in front of your body, this strap actually has a secret apparatus hidden inside the sleeve that allows you to give it more slack. So once they buckled it in and they think it's really tight, you actually have a little ring up in this sleeve that allows you to let some more slack out of the line. So it makes it more easy to slip this over your head. So that's step one is slipping this over your head. Your arms are then free like this. When you go in the water in a straight jacket, you know your clothes have a tendency to like stick to you in the pool. When you get fabric wet, it really sticks to your skin. So it's very hard to get the straight jacket off. You then have to forcefully pull your arms out of the straight jacket using your foot. The next step is then to unbuckle the bottom buckle. There's one that goes right between your legs. So once you've slipped your arm out, you're then free to unbuckle the buckle at the bottom, and then you can slip the straight jacket off over your head, rise to the top of the water, and take your applause. And that is the secret of the magic underwater straight jacket escape. You might be asking yourself, why are you wearing a hoodie? It's really hot outside. Which brings us to our trick of the week. Brought to you by EvanEraTV.com. It might be hot outside, but not as hot as the deals that we have over at EvanEraTV.com. Check out the link in the description. Pick up some cool magic tricks to fool your friends and family. A lot of cool new products on there. We also have a lot of awesome laugh at life gear to keep you cool this summer. Again, the link for that is in the description of the video or at www.EvanEraTV.com. Now let's get on to the trick of the week. Okay, this is a really cool rope trick that you guys can do at home. So all you need is a piece of rope. You will inspect that for me, make sure it's legit, completely normal. Uh, you also only need two hands and this rope. So, seem normal? Yeah. Legit? That's so, nice. just gonna wrap the rope around my wrist, just like this. Okay. You can see it yeah. being wrapped around. Yeah. Okay, uh, pull on either side, and make sure it's uh, legitly Hug. across my wrist. Yep. Yeah. Okay, do me a favor, tie across there, like, however you want. Just this way? Yeah, however you want to tie it. Tighten it down. Seems good to you? Yep. Alright, pretty well locked in there. Yeah, see? Alright, cool. So, the rest tied up. Yep. Uh, there's a Laugh at Life hoodie over on the hood of uh, the truck right there. We grab that and drape it over my hands. Perfect. Okay, um, in a second here, uh, I'm gonna have you put your hands on top of the hoodie, just like this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you just got it out! What do you mean? Can you just pull the hoodie off? Uh, just so still tied. Put it back on. I swear, that's the same knot. <laughs> Put it right back on there. Perfect. Good. Uh, and if I just, just like. Okay, here's the secret to setting this up yourself. This is a super easy one that you can do at home. All you need is a piece of rope. You wanna start out with a piece of rope that's maybe a couple feet long. Then your first step is to wrap it around your wrist, just like this. You're gonna start out with the left wrist. You can wrap it around a few times. You just want it to end up with the cross just like this, so that the end of the rope is here, and the other end of the rope right here is kind of going out like this, and they kind of cross each other. You're then gonna bring your other wrist over and join them like this, and flop the rope on top just like so. You're then gonna have someone tie them together. So once they have the knot tied up, and your hands appear to be tightly secured in the ropes, you can then cover your arms with a jacket, turn around, do whatever sort of misdirection that you want, then all you have to do is twist your hands like this. It will provide slack in the rope and allow you to escape just like that. The knot never even comes untied. So try this out at home with your own piece of rope or string and amaze your audience with your newfound escape artist skills. And that's a cool rope escape trick that you can do right now. Here's a new twist on an old escape trick. Check it out. Okay, I have a really cool escape trick to show you. These are magic thumb cuffs. The name pretty much explains what they are. They actually cuff your thumbs in and these little bolts here on the top, Okay. a little wing nut, you can actually tighten that down and it will lock them onto my thumbs. Okay. Impossible to escape. So insert your thumbs like this. Twist it down? Uh-huh. Yeah, twist it to you. Lock them in place. You got it. Howie. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, tighten it down all the way. Okay, yep. Yeah. That's really tight on there. Got it. Oh, all right. That feels weird. That is. Uh-huh. They're very much cutting into my skin. 
Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, ready? On the count of three, I'm going to try to escape them in an instant. Ready? Okay. One, <laughs> two, three. Break your thumbs. I just felt like it was hard I put it on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, please explain. That was crazy. <laughs> Good job. Okay, here's the secret of the magic thumb cup. Here's the secret behind escaping the magic thumb cuffs. So there's no real secret to these. It's really all found in the design of the cuffs themselves. Even when they're fully tightened down, your thumbs can still escape. They've got screws and a little wing nut on either side. You just tighten this down on your thumbs. You can have your spectator tighten it down. You do the same thing on each side. Tighten them down as tight as you can. And even with them fully tightened, your thumbs can still fit inside pretty comfortably just like that. Then if you want to get out, all you have to do is apply a little bit of pressure down with your thumbs and using the side of your fingers right here to brace on the edges and it'll kind of bend a little bit and even provide you a little bit more space to wiggle your thumbs out just like that and escape the magic thumb cuffs. So if you want to do this quickly, you're just going to do it on a count of three, one, two, three and slide your thumbs out as your hands come down. That big motion of your hands coming up and down covers the small motion of you sliding your thumbs out of the thumb cuffs. I'm going to give these thumb cuffs away to one lucky comment at the end of the video so be sure to stay tuned for a special giveaway. And that is how you escape the magic thumb cuffs. Here's a pocket sized escape trick that's a real mind bender. Check it out. So there's some interesting little props for this trick. I have this little black piece of plastic. You can touch that and examine it. And this is just a little paper sleeve. And I have a little metal pin. So Ava, I'm going to take the little black plastic thing. It's going to slide right through here just like this. As you can see there's a hole in the middle of the black plastic thing. There's also a hole in the middle of the paper sleeve right there. We're gonna take the little pin and it's gonna go right through the middle of both of the holes, just like that. Effectively pinning the little black thing inside. It's completely trapped in there. There's absolutely no way it can escape. But if we use a little magic, watch. All you have to do is pull. Here's the secret behind escaping the paper sleeve. This is a classic escape magic trick, a little pocket sized version of an escape trick. It's called Viz Escape, V-I-Z Escape by Royal Magic. It's this little piece of plastic right here. It's got a hole in the middle. There's nothing special about that. The secret is mostly found in this paper sleeve. The little fastener pin is completely normal as well. So what's special about the paper sleeve is this. We have the little arrows just like this. And we also have the hole through the middle, as you can see. The hole on the paper sleeve is gonna line up with the hole on the black strip. So now that you have the little plastic strip inserted, you can move it back and forth like this to convince people that it's actually through there. The white paper on the inside of the tube is kind of cut out so that you can still see the little black thing going through. And on the back side, which you don't want to show your spectator, you can clearly see that this is not going through the paper. And now the pin will actually just allow us to slide right over it just like that as we pull this out. And just like that, it looks like the magic slider has escaped the confines of the paper sleeve and magically penetrated through the fastener. All of this is instantly examinable. You can hand this out to the audience. That's what's so great about it. They can check this out. They can remove the pin themselves, see that there's nothing to find. Super cool and super easy to do. And that is the secret of the magic biz escape. Here's a magic chain escape that you can do in the blink of an eye. Okay, I have an amazing chain escape to show you. So I have a chain here. Examine the chain, make sure it's normal. Chain seem normal? Yeah. Solid chain. We also have, in addition to the chain, a small lock. It's a small padlock, also has a key to the padlock, and it simply unlocks just like that. So we have the padlock here. You're also gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna wrap the chains around my wrists. I Feel good and tight? Mm -hmm. If you would, please chain it right there. Just put the padlock through any of the links right there. Kinda chain them together. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right, pretty uh, solid wrist shackles area. I can't uh, seem to really move them. Okay, you ready? Watch the wrist shackles. If I turn around, to the count of three. There's no point to the lock. It's actually still locked. Super simple secret. Here's how it's done. This is a classic little magic prop here. One of the first I actually ever had, I think. It's called the Royal Chain Escape. So it comes with this little chain like this, and then there are two rings 
attached to the end. There's one on the very end of the chain and then one that's a few links back right here. And it also comes with a little lock and key. Pop the lock, take the ring and drape it over your wrist just like so. The chain is then gonna come around your wrist and go up through the ring just like that. Make it nice and tight. You then wanna let the chain drape down like this and your other wrist is gonna go right there. You're then gonna let the chain drape over your wrists just like that. Then you're gonna have your spectator padlock the chains in place right over your left wrist. Now that they've locked these chains up nice and tight, they seem completely inescapable. But little do they know, you've got a magic trick up your sleeve. All you have to do to escape the chains, much like the rope trick, is simply move your hand just like this, and it will provide slack in the chain for you to slip your hand out. This will of course then provide slack in the rest of the chain for the other hand to come out just like that, and you can escape this in literally less than a second once you practice this. Like be completely restrained with chains, then turn around and in an instant you've escaped. And that is the secret of the magic chain escape. Should you ever find yourself in handcuffs and can't find the key, here's a quick way to escape using something around the house. So you've got some handcuffs all locked up here. No way to get them off. All you're gonna do is take a little paper clip and you can actually pick the lock and pop the handcuffs open like that. Okay, so let's say you're in handcuffs. Now, I've got to preface this with if you are ever in police custody, do not try to escape the handcuffs. It will only get you in more trouble. So if you're ever in handcuffs and you need to escape them, here's how to do it. All you're going to need to escape the handcuffs is a paper clip. Standard office paper clip here. Your first step is to straighten this out. So you're going to bend the paper clip out straight like this, and the very end of the paper clip, you're going to bend to a 90 degree angle. You can actually do this using the keyhole of the handcuffs. Just insert the paper clip like this and bend sideways. So once you have the paper clip bent into this position, opening the handcuffs is as simple as sliding it inside the keyhole right here. Then you're going to mimic the same thing that the key does when it opens it. You're just going to turn that little knob at the top and it'll open up just like that. So what you're going to do is use the little end of the paper clip to catch this ratchet right down in here. Once you find the sweet spot, it unlocks very easy. There's three little ratchet clips right there that catch the ends of this handcuff arm as they come through. Through. Key just pushes that down just like that. We're gonna mimic that with a paper clip. Alternatively to a paper clip, if you don't have one of those, you can also use a bobby pin for hair. That'll work well too. And that is how you can escape handcuffs without a key. Here's a fun escape to challenge your friends with. Okay, so I have a zip tie challenge for you. You've seen this thing before, right? Yeah. Using like secure cables and stuff. Colors. Okay, so uh, hold out your hands for me. Both wrists together. Just like that. This is the challenge. You have to escape the zip ties. Oh, oh, oh. Nice and tight. So you're gonna have to do the same thing for me. All right, how's that if working? You can. Yeah. All right, so we got them locked in here, uh, nice yeah. and tight. They're very tight, yes. Yes. Uh, first, so the challenge first. is to escape them. How? Uh, as quick as you can. I can't even move my. <laughs> can I show you? Yes. Watch, I can escape them in less than a second. Ready? Watch. I'd love to see that. <gasps> Whoa! That's cool. <laughs> I don't know. See how I did it? Yeah, I'm scared. Ah! <laughs> okay, maybe I should show you a little bit more detailed instruction. I'll teach you how it's done too. Right now. Here's the secret behind breaking out of zip ties every time. Okay, here is the secret to escaping zip ties. All you have to do is throw your arms downward towards your body at your midsection right here and spread your arms apart. They're gonna wanna naturally go apart as they go on your sides like this. So it's almost like you're putting your arms at your sides really fast. Now just pop the zip ties open, but you have to do it with a lot of force. You have to do it with all your might. So as you come down, ugh, just there. And that is the secret to escaping zip ties. Here's another cool rope escape that's sure to baffle any audience. Okay, I have a really cool one to show you. So this is another escape trick, but you're gonna do the magic on this one, okay? So check this out. I don't even know how to do it. I'm gonna teach you how. It's how-to magic. So this is a little tube thing. It's just got some holes cut in it right there. It's normal, right? No gimmicks or gas or gizmos. I've also got a couple pieces of rope here. Perfect. I'm gonna take the two ropes. They're gonna go down inside the tube just like this. And go right through the tube just like so. So we're gonna loop the ropes just like this. So now we have the two lengths of rope running through the tube. These are actually called tube cuffs. Kind of like handcuffs. All right, so now we're gonna have me put it on. We've got the ropes running through there. Wrist just like this. The other wrist through here. Now, if you will, will you grab two ends of the rope and just tie them together at the bottom? Tie them up just like that. Tie it, all right. Now grab the other ends of the rope with that. Yep, just like that. And you're gonna pull the whole thing on the count of three, okay? Wrists are locked in, right? No way I can get out. One, two, three. What the heck? 
<laughs> right through the ropes and the tube. Tube flew across the room. This rope escape trick is so easy that anyone could do it. Okay, here is the secret to the magic tube cuffs. These ropes have a secret. They have a little secret button where they can snap together, just like that. It joins the ropes together, and then when you need them to, they can snap apart. That'll come into play in a second. So before the trick starts, this is your only preparation. Snap the ropes together. You're gonna hold them just like this. So you can have them inspect the tube as much as they want. You're just gonna show the ropes off just like this. Can't hand them out for inspection, but you can show them pretty cleanly. You're then gonna take both the ropes and they're gonna go down through the middle of the tube. They're gonna go right down through the middle just like that. You want the snap to be right in the middle of the tube between the two holes, hidden right here. You're now gonna pull up the two ropes just like this on either side just like that the snap is still hidden right here in the middle if you pull to one side you can see it right there you want to keep that hidden that is how you're going to escape the rope cuffs so you can have hands slid in the tube cuffs just like this just tighten them up like this and then you can have them tie them at the bottom and then all they have to do is pull on the count of three and all you have to do is pull outward like this and it will unsnap it pulls the rope through the tube and it'll look like your hands just have magically escaped the ropes and the tube cuff. And that is the secret of the magic tube cuffs. Here's an awesome magic escape trick that you can do right now with two ropes and a friend. Check it out. Okay, B, I have a really cool rope escape to show you. Okay. This is actually one that uh, you guys can do at home. I'll show you the secret when we're done. All you need are two pieces of rope. So take the black rope here. It's going to go over your wrists just like this. One wrist here and one wrist okay. here, just like that. Kind of like rope handcuffs. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to loop my rope through yours so that now they are linked together. There's no way to get them apart. Safe to say? Yeah. Seem legit? Yeah. Can you figure out any way that we could get them apart? Oh, without taking my hand off? Yeah, my without hand. taking your hands out of it, yeah. Uh, no. There's actually oh, a, maybe. There's a secret. Watch. Oh. All I have to do is take my rope like this, I loop it, come up here, watch, it goes over your hand. Your rope never leaves your wrist. Just like that. Oh, wow! That's clever! I'll show you the secret right now. The secret behind this one is done right in front of me. Okay, the secret to the magic rope challenge. It's really simple. You can kind of tell how it's done in the performance of the trick itself. It's kind of self-explanatory. Really simple walkthrough. So the rope is tied around this wrist, also tied around this wrist here, and theirs is looped over yours just like this, so you guys are locked together. Now the challenge is to escape. Now they're probably not going to be able to figure out how to get out, but you know the secret. All you have to do is come over to the rope just like this. You're going to come over to your own rope, so you grab your rope like this. You make a loop. You're then going to come under under their wrist and you're gonna slide this over their hand. And it's that simple. You're then freed from the ropes. You're completely separated and you win the magic challenge every time. And that is the secret of the two person rope trick. All right guys, that is it. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone who you think might like it. Share it on your Facebook or Twitter. All the sharing and thumbs up really do help. So I appreciate it if you take the time to do that. Be sure to head over to EvanAraTV.com. We have a lot of other fun magic tricks and cool laugh at life gear. Not just sweatshirts, we have stuff for some. All right guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away 10 magic escape tricks to 10 lucky comments in the comment section down below. So if you want to win any of these magic escape tricks, just leave a comment down in the comment section. You can leave as many comments as you want. In fact, the more comments you leave on the video, the better your chances of winning the giveaway. So be sure to hit the thumbs up and leave your comments down below. We'll be picking 10 winners and mailing out the magic to you so that you can perform these amazing escape stunts at home. Time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how-to magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send the email right here to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave your comments below. If you missed the last episode of How To Magic, it's right over there. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell. The shop's right down there if you want to grab some merch. My vlog channel's right down there if you want to see a behind the scenes of this video. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.